This completely eliminates mascara, eyelash extensions, and fake lashes. to another video. If this is your first time here, welcome. For today's video, I am going to give you guys my five best beauty tips for 2020. These tips I was actually already doing in 2019 and actually some of them even in 2018, 2017, 2016, they go back, but I've never really talked about them before, so I figured why not start the new year off great with a new beauty tip and this is what I've got for you. But before we get into that, I want to mention, I know the last video that I recently did, I discussed the Daffy Water Pitchers, and so far, I've been using it for about, maybe almost a month now? Yeah, I would say like a month. And I have to say, I definitely taste a difference in the water, and I definitely feel like my energy levels are better. Um, but I want to give you guys a chance to get one of your very own, if it's something that you're interested in. So... I want to show you guys a little clip real quick about the product and then you can go ahead and find a promo code and the link for the water pitcher itself and all the other Daffy products from Amazon in my description box below. Here's a video. My head, close and latch on the gate. I fly across this town cause I don't want to be late. Pull up to your house and your dad is staring holes through me. See a movie, spent all that I had You say romantic comedies these days make you sad Just empty and lonely Wishing for a world like that I could never let you go You are the current, the river, and the undertow I could never let you go you are the current, the river, and the undertow. Everything that is important is not disposable. Let's take care of ourselves and the environment. Now returning to what you all came here for. Cue Calvin Harris music. This is what you came for. Um, I guess we'll start off with our first tip. My very first tip is that I use coconut oil instead of like a night mask or a night cream or night moisturizer. I put coconut oil all over my face and I sleep in it throughout the night. This is the coconut oil I am currently using. No, this is not sponsored. Um, it's Viva Naturals Organic Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. It's 100% pure, cold pressed, and unrefined. So you can cook with this, bake with this, put it in your hair, put it on your skin, anything, and you can get it on Amazon. I'll put the link to where you can get this on Amazon in the description box below, but it is a godsend. Um, I have black pillowcases, and before that I had white pillowcases, and I don't necessarily know if I really saw like any staining or anything on the pillowcases while I slept in it, but again, they're black now, and I want to say the white, like... I don't know, they turned yellow eventually anyhow, so I can't confirm or deny if that actually has ruined the pillowcase or not. I don't know, maybe put a towel down, I don't know. Um, it helps with your skin, keeps it really moisturized. When you wake up in the morning, your skin is going to like feel amazing. You're going to be like, oh, why didn't I start doing this earlier? For me, I'm very prone to breakouts. I always have been my entire life, and this does not break me out whatsoever. It's literally the only product I could find that doesn't break me out, so... Give it a shot and let me know if it works for you. The second tip that I have is using Latisse for your lashes and getting them permed. This completely eliminates mascara, eyelash extensions, and fake lashes, which is three of the things that I hate wearing slash doing in my entire life. <laughs> I figured this out, one of the girls that I work with um, and her sister had been doing it for a while and I was like, your lashes are so long, like what is it, you know? And both their eyes are blue. I know that Latisse um, can sometimes change your eye color, but apparently that's only if you get the Latisse in your eyes. What I do is it comes like this. It comes with two little brushes for your lashes and then the actual product. This is the five milliliter. This is the more expensive one because it's more product. I put it on before bed. Coconut oil, and then I'll put this bad boy on. You have to put this on every single night for the very first tube that you get. I recommend getting the five milliliter. It's the bigger one, it's more expensive, but it's probably gonna last you around two to three months and you need to do it every single night. When you do this, it's gonna turn 
your lashes darker, it's gonna make them way longer, and where you put it, it's almost like putting on eyeliner. You want it on the edge of your lid. Where you put it, that's gonna get like a hint darker. I have not noticed, knock on wood, any eye color changes or anything, but I've also not gotten it in my eye, so I can't say that that's the reason why or not. Anyways, once you grow them out, um, after the first bottle, you can get a lash perm. So what that's gonna basically do is perm your lashes to always be curled up. It's essentially kind of like using a curling wand every single day, except you don't have to. And because you use Latisse and your lashes are continuously growing, they're less likely to fall out, so your lash perm's gonna last a really long time. I think I've had my lash perm now since the beginning of December, and we're gonna be nearing the end of January next week. It's been a pretty long time with these so far. Um, I'm on my third tube of Latisse since I started, and the only reason for that is because Demarius ate the second one. It doesn't harm them. I called poison control, and the guy laughed at me. He was literally like, if anything, his lashes are gonna grow long. Ha ha ha. No, but um, I'm on my second tube now, and once you pass that first month mark, you can slowly backtrack on using it. So I use it maybe once every other night or every two nights, depending how I'm feeling, and still have the same results. Um, I know my girlfriends still use it every night, but I just, once I have it, I'm kind of just like, meh, it's not that important anymore. But when, when you first start using it, you do need to use it every night. Like I think I missed three days out of those whole few months, so. Definitely recommend it. You'll never have to wear lash extensions anymore. Mascara, thing of the past. I rarely wear mascara now, unless it's like on camera or something where I really need my lashes to look amazing. I think I have like two strokes of mascara on right now, to be honest with you. And I can actually hold up a picture right here of what my lashes looked like as soon as I walked out from the lash perm, so you can get an idea. They look like extensions, and you'll no longer be pulling out little hairs or have to pay for all that. I would just highly recommend doing it, save every money, and do it because it's so much better than all of the other options. <laughs> my third tip is something that I have definitely discussed in previous videos, using black eyeshadow and water to create your eyeliner. So I discovered this because I was tired of rubbing off like my eye makeup or like taking it off and just like black everywhere like all over my eye and I'm just like oh, I gotta get another makeup wipe and wipe the black off like it was just a chaotic mess and I got over it very quickly so I decided you know what I'll try I'll take an eyeliner brush and I'll try to dip it in water and black eyeshadow and see what happens not only does it work clearly because I have it on my eyes but you can wipe off like with a q-tip um, way easier you're not like entirely tugging your skin it's just like because it's eyeshadow essentially it's just wet so it's on there it does stay but it does give you a softer look the more water and the more shadow you use the darker it gets so sometimes I'll leave it super light and like kind of like smoked out and then sometimes I'll go in for that full Ariana Grande eyeliner like I don't even know what to call it <laughs> yeah Definitely recommend it, and it'll definitely be easier for you to take off your makeup and probably prevent you from pulling out your skin, which is gonna make it looser and give you more wrinkles. My fourth tip is for the eyebrows that everybody asks me about. The key to the eyebrows is, if you're trying to grow them out, do not pluck them at all. Don't pluck them. Don't touch them for six months. I tell everybody this. You want eyebrows that are like thick like this? Do not pluck your eyebrows for six months except for the middle. Leave all of this, all of this mess, leave it. You're gonna have to live with it. You're gonna look hideous for six months. Figure it out, put some foundation over it. I don't know what to tell you, but you need to leave it. So after that six months is done, you're going to fill in your brows. This is something people don't do and I don't understand how they do this. They don't do it. You need to fill in your brows every single time you tweeze your eyebrows. Because why would you tweeze an eyebrow into a shape that you don't even know if you necessarily want? What you're gonna do is fill in your eyebrows and once they're exactly how you want them and they're heaven on earth, then you tweeze all the straight areas that are just hanging out, chilling, that aren't completely lined in from your pencil or your shadow. A little tip that I would recommend to anybody that's growing out their eyebrows for the six months, once you finish, go get your eyebrows threaded at an Indian place. I go to the same girl in Fort Lauderdale, Threading Diva, shout out Charmy. She's the only person I let touch my eyebrows. I go maybe two, three times max a year. I tweeze them on my own otherwise. 
but get them done by an Indian woman because they know how those brows need to be. They all have those thick, perfect brows and you really can't go wrong. And my last tip for you guys is not washing your hair. Yeah, that's pretty gross. But another thing that I figured out in the last year, I felt like when I was washing my hair, it was like falling out a lot. And I've got a lot of hair, but I run online and I, you know, everything on Google must be true, right? I don't know, you gotta figure out things for yourself. I realized that I, for my specific type of hair, I shouldn't be washing it every day. What I do in the meantime um, to get me by those couple days without washing is I use dry shampoo. This is the dry shampoo that I use. I will also link this. I, you can get this on Amazon or in the store. It's Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Tapioca Dry Shampoo in Warm Sugar. Smells really good so your hair is not going to smell bad. It's not going to be greasy. Say I do my hair, I wash it right and then I wear it out and the next day I still have kind of like nice hair from the night before but it's like greasy up here now because nightlife. I will spray my head and then I'll blow dry it upside down and then spray it again and it restores my hair back to like 100% completely. So with this you can get about two, three days of wear, you know, throw in a braid, whatnot, whatever you need to do. And I just noticed a complete difference, like my hair falls out way less in the shower and whatnot. So definitely recommend it. You should look into it. Let me know if it works for you. Well guys, that's all I have for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll definitely get back to them. I read everything, so I will see it. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, please. I'm trying to hit that 40K. I've been stuck where I am forever, so feel free to help the cause. And I will see you guys on the next video.